hey guys and welcome back to pixel cherry ninjas channel just wanted to put together this little video because i know many of you guys were having issues with the latest pc engine uh, cd update uh in regard to the pocket updaters uh and issues with json files so um retro driven has updated the pocket updater to version 1.4.6.2 and uh, we're going to have a look at that so i'm going to do the usual i am going to format our test sd card so for the purpose of this video i'm going to format an sd card and we're only going to we're only going to put the pc engine cd core on there put on a few games and test uh, out what results we get from the latest updater so i have uh, formatted this sd card to xfat uh, so that's a blank micro SD card. Uh, what we're going to do next is just put it in the analog pocket and then I'm going to put it back in the PC so we get all the default files in there. Right now, look, it's empty and it is XFAT. Okay, so let's now load up uh, Retro Driven's pocket updater. The latest version I stated 1.4.6.2. And uh, let's just go into manage cores. And what we're going to do is we're going to uncheck all of them. And we're just going to select the PC Engine CD core. Okay, let's go ahead and save that now. Good, good stuff. We've got that saved. Just going to have a look at settings. And one thing one thing that you want to make sure you do, uh, unless you want to delete the skipped cores, because one day I left that on and it deleted all the cores that uh, I was skipping. I found out the hard way. Uh, but usually I, 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 um, I don't have that checked. Okay, so now let's go for our update. So we're going to find... Um, I'm, I'm, I've got a micro SD inserted uh, that I use with the analog pocket. You can do it with a cable as well. I generally tend to pull out the micro SD card, especially if I'm doing like larger files. Uh, okay, so that's completed. It was quick because we're only doing one thing. As you can see now, the, the updater pulls. Um, okay, so it's got a newer version of the PC Engine CD core. So hopefully there's some changes in there. 0 0.17. It's pulled a few different versions of uh, the BIOS. There's a few different versions of BIOS files for us now. So that's, that's fairly awesome. Hopefully that will add some more compatibility. Let's go ahead and... Uh, have a look at our micro SD card. Now, and I, I inserted that into the analog pocket in order to get these files on there. So we format, formatted it first to XFAT, then I put it into the analog pocket and we got those files. So we've gone into assets uh, and then we've gone into uh, the only one there, PC Engine CD and, and Common. We can see all the BIOS files are in there. Now, these are the games I'm going to copy. These are just the test drums I've got. I haven't got too many games uh, for it. Maybe later on I'll, I'll get some. I'm, I'm not a, like a maximalist that wants every single thing on there. I'll just play some here and there for now. Okay, now that we've got all our games copied over, probably not going to test all of them, but we will have look, uh, a look at some of those games. Okay, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to run the updater again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Mazamars 312 PC Engine CD folder. And so we can see if the JSON files are generated. Because many of you said uh, the JSON files were not getting generated. Well, now we can see if they are when we run uh, Update Pocket. Okay, let's just have a look. Make sure our settings are saved. They're all saved. We're all good. And uh, under Manage Cores, yep, it's only the PC Engine CD that we have got selected. Uh, I, I know it was saved. I just wanted to check it again. Call it OCD, if you will. Okay, again, going to our storage and let's update it. Okay, bang, done. Here we go. We've got all the JSON files now. Uh, so we've got a, a newer version of the core. We've got... Uh, the latest version of retro driven's pocket updater now remember i go between pocket sync i got i use matt panella's updater and i use retro driven's one uh, so i go between them as I, as retro driven updated his one earlier i thought yeah let's let's check that one out so we've got our json files now all of them are 27 or less bin files with the exception of rainbow islands rainbow islands it had more than 27 bin files and i converted that to a single bin file but let's go over to the games and uh, have a look and see how they run Okay, so let's test out a few games, starting with Cheeky Cheeky Boys. Um, yeah, listen out to the sound a little bit. The sound to me 
it sounded it sounds a a little bit off it's not it's not crystal clear like cd sound but let me know in the comments what you uh what you kind of think about it like i've never owned a pc engine cd system so if this is how the sound is accurately maybe i can't tell Okay, so having a look at Forgotten Worlds, I really used to like this game as a kid. Now, I can't remember if I played this on a Commodore 6040 Amiga, but yeah, have a listen to the sound and again, judge it for yourselves. Okay, let's have a look at Riot City now, and uh, again, listen out for the sound. Okay, so Rainbow Islands. So this is the game that I converted uh, from more than 27. I think it was like 32 bin files. So I uh, used some software and converted it into a single bin file. But there are issues with the sound. Now, if you notice, I've done the level. And we're going to get the that sound right there. That's, that's the first boss sound. So it kind of jumps to that. Now, if I pause it. There you go. When I've unpaused it, there's a buzzing sound. The sound stopped now. And now it's got the level complete sound. And when I pause it again and I unpause it, it goes to like the normal sound. So, yeah, a little bit weird this. I pause, unpause, and I try it a few times. And the sound seems to be okay now. But converting uh, multiple bin files into a single bin file still presents issues. Hopefully, that's something that will get fixed. In, uh, in a future update. Okay guys, so this brings us to the end of this video. This was Retro Driven's Pocket Updater. We tested out the most recent version, which is 1.4.6.2, and uh, we've had good success uh, creating JSON files. We've now got a number of BIOSes uh, in there also i noticed that when selecting a game you don't then have to select the bios the game just boots up automatically uh, i did try some other stuff like from within the core once the game was running i tried running a game from the menu but it didn't work as far as i can tell you still have to quit out uh, for forgot forgotten worlds to work i had to change the region um, so this core there's still work to be done on this because we saw when we uh, converted uh a game that had more than 27 bin files into a single bin file um, like we did with Rainbow Islands there was issues with the sound so expect issues uh, use it within the limitations uh, for good use if you are going to use single single bin files by converting multiples into a single you are still going to run into issues but uh, honestly I can tell you the guys that work on this they work really really hard on this Mazamar, Mazamars, Adam Gastinu they work really hard as do the guys doing the updaters and everyone kind of involved in the alpha group um, so yeah guys this was it for the video update your pocket updater and uh, check it out for yourselves let me know in the comments below how you, you know what your experience is like and what kind of mileage you're getting um yeah that's really it guys and uh, if you're not already subscribed to the channel then a subscription and a like honestly it's super appreciated and uh, i'll see you guys around in the next video pixel cherry ninja out